The impact that being a part of this pilot has had for us as a staff has been quite interesting. So after you have your goal sheet filled in, you're going to take your goal sheet home. More and more teachers are, are connecting students um, with learning targets and having conversations with where they are and helping them reach that end goal. They're using learning goals in class. A lot of I can statements, so criteria is more evident when you're in the classroom as a student. You know, from an administrator point of view, in terms of integrating formative assessment, I think um, trying it yourself is first and foremost key. I would say our two-year journey in this formative assessment um, pilot has helped us think more deeply about instruction so that we can lead it. It has forced us, in a way, to think more um, deeply about our feedback. How specific are we? How is our feedback moving our teachers forward? Um, and I think because of this, this pilot, it's just caused us to reflect on our own practice. It's just as applicable in a leadership role as it is in a classroom role. You know, when we're walking into those classrooms, we're looking for ways to celebrate formative assessment and then provide feedback that might move them forward in that area. So if nothing else, I would encourage administrators to look into the pilot, look into the modules, read the material that's out there. Because if we can model it, then it's easier to kind of share it with teachers as you're coaching them in their classroom practices. That's been the biggest benefit, I think. The teacher and student success stories have been kind of what has hooked our other teachers. So we have had teachers have all of this success with their students in their classroom and then they're sharing that through word of mouth. But we also have had teachers st share, um, you know, just success stories during our faculty meetings. They're all coming back to formative assessment. And let's review real quick. We've we highlighted a, a couple yeah. of teachers. So we, we go in, we see them doing something with formative assessment, we record it, and then we share that information through a weekly bulletin that we have. And I think part of our process for moving forward is just connecting it with where teachers are right now. What is their natural next step? Some are ready for learning goals. Some are ready for thinking about a learning progression. Some are right there with um, the student goal setting and the peer assessing and that part of the assessment and reflection. Um, some need to start at the school classroom culture and glean ideas there. Oh, very good. So it's really about understanding where everybody is and taking it the next step, but it's very much a part of what we will move forward because there's a belief that it's good for kids and we're seeing the evidence of it.